It's Blake time. Blake time. Blake time. He likes energy drinks. It's Blake, the energy drink connoisseur. All right, energy drink connoisseur time. Woohoo! It's the the best time. We have a we have a couple of tasty options for you today. One is Miracle Body. And I don't know if it's Miracle Body 5 or Miracle Body V, I'm not sure. It'd be interesting if it was Miracle Body 5, and I've missed four Miracle Bodies prior to this point, so it <laughs> should be frustrating. I think this Miracle Body should go pretty well with your Miracle Body. Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks buddy, appreciate it. Uh, second one is a Fit Aid. It's like a citrus, it's a citrus melody. Ooh, oh, well, Citrus Medley, that makes way more sense than Citrus Melody does, so. Um, but sounds key. I'm I'm good keen to give it a shot. Yeah, sh- um, shout out to that guy in the YouTube comments who, whenever we post a video, he's like, "Hey man, when's the next Blake th- the Energy Drink Connoisseur video coming out?" <laughs> you, my friend. That's why this, I'm subscribed here. This so, yeah. this video is for you. Uh, so thank you for your continued support. Man, you're down on that. Okay. Ooh. Should it be called Red Bull Five? That's the question. So we have a we have a Red Bull based energy drink here, uh, further reinforcing the energy drink connoisseur belief that about seventy five percent of energy drinks in the world are actually Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's been that's been something I've held for a long time. How long is it until you get your home brand, your Coles Woolworths brand energy drink, and it's just Red Bull? I mean, so Aldi has it, Flying Power. At least our Aldi at ours in Australia has Flying Power. And that's Red Bull Coin. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah, um, which is interesting. Uh, it's a little better. So it's, it's a tiny bit syrupy, not to the same level of um, those like other Southeast Asian energy drinks. We've had this from Japan. Um, but the other Southeast Asian energy drinks that, that, that we received, um, they were a little bit syrupy. Like a lot syrupy, an insane amount of syrupy. This is only a little bit um, extra, which is nice. It's less sugar syrupy and more um, like honey. The sweetness is more like honey than it is like like heavy. I guess like you you would think like caramelized sugary syrupy it's it's more honey like so it feels a little bit more natural which is good um, a little bit of a citrus hit which you always get um, courtesy of the citric acid that they roll into these things to uh, mm. give them a bit of feel I'm gonna go three keens that's out exactly of five. what I was gonna say yeah, three keens three yeah. keens um, it's not a particularly complex energy drink um, it's just a slightly better version of Red Bull mm-hmm. I would say um, that's about where I'm sitting with that. Uh, very cool name of Miracle Body. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I do like the. Uh, this is metal. It's a cool little metal bottle. Metal bottles are not super common. We've had like the Monster before, which comes in the the massive resealable mm, can. Mm-hmm. Uh, something I think all engineering should have is the ability to be resealed. And this does have a resealable top, so it technically counts. Not quite as cool as the Monster resealable top, but still pretty good. All right. Three Kings. Fit Aid Athletic Recovery. <laughs> oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Just don't drink any yet. Ooh, oh, it's nasty. gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. It's another verb. <laughs> oh man. All right. Yeah. Okay. The engineering connoisseur is displeased. The engineering connoisseur is so displeased. I wonder if I'm displeased to the point where it's not going on the massive energy drink shelf that I have. Uh, it could go to the energy drink shelf of shame. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should have a really nice display cabinet, right? With all my energy drinks displayed on it and like really pretty, well lit. And then next to it, I should just have a cardboard box where I throw all the crappy energy drinks that were just not good. It's I will say good. though, it tastes slightly better than it smells. It does. Because it, it smells, smells very awful. foul. It smells so awful. The problem, though, is that you can't help but smelling it before you drink it, and yeah. it does skew your taste a little bit, but it's not great. Oh, man, this is not great at all. <laughs> Naturally sweetened with what? 
<laughs> what have you put in this to make it taste this way? <laughs> Why have you done this? Live Aid, please. Did you come here to watch Blake the Energy Drink Connoisseur get mad? Because this is what we have. Keto friendly, paleo, kosher. You're doing too many things, bro. You're doing too many things with an energy drink. I don't get it. It's not as bad as Verve. But it's like... Man. What do we give Verve? Do you remember? Um, have well, we ever given an energy drink a zero? <laughs> Smells dreadful. <laughs> I would not recommend. Um, yeah, look. You going with the zero? So, it, it's doing a bunch of stuff. It has to get plus 0.5 kings for it being a very fit energy drink. Hell, the amount of things it's doing, it almost gets a one from like, it's, you know, naturally sweetened vitamins, all this other stuff, zero sugar, five calories a can, it's a dietary supplement, it's, yeah, this, this, it's doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's just marketing, um, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's partially marketing, yes. Um, you know, a lot of it you have by default, for mm -hmm. example, so, um, I don't know. The real sad thing is, like, we've got to hold our nose and have this while we're casting, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, that'll, that'll pour it out. Um, look, it's not the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. I'm going to give it, like, 0.5 canes, plus 0.5. I'm going to give it a 1. Mm -hmm. You can have a 1. The, the, the taste profile is a 0 0.5 canes, which is the lowest of the low scores. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an interesting... It does have a flavor profile, let's say that. It doesn't taste like nothing. Right? Like, it doesn't taste like... Although, it doesn't taste tasting like nothing yeah. wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> yeah, look, I'll take tasting like nothing over this. Um, oh, the smell is just awful. So, yeah, okay, I'll give it one key out of five. Just yeah. just awful. Just a terrible energy drink. The maybe, maybe one of the worst. Certainly the worst smelling energy drink I've ever had. Um, so, thank you for gra gracing my... Uh, man, I'm, maybe I'll never taste another energy drink again after trying Aww. to drink this thing. It's very sad. Uh, yeah, not good. Um, there, there, there we go. There's a bit of range. Three keens and a and a and a one keen energy drink. Um, at least it's at least it's a health energy drink. Imagine cool. tasting like that and not being a health energy drink. Mm. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I will link uh, a student of the energy drink connoisseur uh, who has a TikTok and maybe other things. He's a wine connoisseur that tastes energy drinks. So you're after some more. Uh, uh, regular content, you could say, on the annual drink line. He's done like hundreds of reviews, and the dude knows his shit. Because I was watching him for a couple of my. The most important thing is like, can he detect a five keen energy drink? Mm -hmm. And he can detect a five keen energy <laughs> yeah. drink. I've, I've seen him like do like three of the energy drinks that I've I've listed as a five. He's like, yeah, these are, like pretty much perfect. I'm like, yes, they are. You're correct. Very good. So I, I have watched through several of his videos um, and do agree. So I'll, I'll link that below in the comments. So. People can watch that if they'd like to. Thank you. The All energy right. connoisseur says bye for now. See you later. He likes energy drinks. It's Blake, the energy drink connoisseur.